What's going on, Aries? Welcome to your February 2021 love reading. So if you're Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aries, this is for you. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Leave your comments. Hit that notification bell as I do upload weekly. All right, Aries, let's see what's coming in. Keep in mind it's general. So if it doesn't fit, check out your rising or your moon sign. Y'all need a private reading? My info is below where you can go book that private reading. All right, Aries, using the Tarot of Dreams for your main spread. Let's see what's coming in love for Aries in February. Cards have been pre-shuffled. We are set to go. All right, Aries, let's do it. Coming into the current moment, what do we have? We have judgment in reverse. What's the influence or challenge to judgment? It's the two of cups in reverse. What's on your mind, Aries? It's the knight of coins. What happened in the recent past? The eight of swords. Why is it all going down? What's the reason for the reading? It's the four of cups. All right, Aries, I'm with you. Mom hears you. All right, coming into the near future, what will you experience? The Page of Cups in reverse, Pisces energy. What are you up to? How do you see yourself right now? Okay, Death card, sign of Scorpio. What's in your environment coming in that you don't see? The energy, uh-oh, it's the Three of Swords. What's going on in your feels? What's in your emotions? The High Priestess, more Pisces energy. What do we have for your outcome in love, Aries? What do we have? We have the two of wands. There you guys are showing up with your Aries energy. All right. Let mom take a big fat look at your big fat love life. Let's see what's going on here. Take a look at these cards. All right. The reason everything is going down is because of the four of cups. So the four of cups can certainly be a rejection of some sort. You rejected someone or they rejected you, something like that. Just complacency kind of too, boredom, right? That's why everything's going down. A breakup probably with the two of cups in reverse or not seeing eye to eye with somebody on an emotional level. Uh, with that judgment card coming into the current moment, not, not wanting to repeat the past and just being cautious moving forward. For some of you, this isn't even this, you know, for some of you, this is a particular person, but for some others of you, this is just love in general, right? It's like, I'm tired of dealing with people that I can't have this bond with, or, you know, breakups of people that are just not cutting it, right? You got that eight of swords in the past. So this is feeling trapped or stuck. You're going through a huge transformation. I think a lot of you are going through an ending. Those of you who aren't connected with someone that you're going through a particular ending with, this is just shedding the old, right? With the death card. This is all about changes and transformation. You, a lot of you just do not want to repeat the past, whether that's because of a breakup with a particular person or just love in general, right? Page of Cups in Reverse is coming into the near future. So this is just kind of not, you know, it's a lack of communication, yes, but it's also just not pursuing your dreams as far as love, right? It's cutting people off that are just too immature, right? Because I think you guys are just tired of dealing with that energy, with that four of cups there. You're just bored, complacent. You're rejecting people. You're being very cautious with that knight of coins on your mind, very careful, just kind of at a standstill right now. All right, let's clarify this bad bitch of a reading and see what's up. So this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for February 2021. What can Aries expect in love? All right, let's check it. Also, too, if this does resonate, the link to the extended reading is below where we will take a look. We'll dive a little bit deeper into, you know, how a particular person is feeling about you. See what's going on in their environment. All right, coming in right now, you've got Judgment in Reverse, Scorpio Energy, and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, see, this is, I'm ending it. I'm ending cycles of hurt and pain. I don't want to relive it. I don't want to go back to it. You guys certainly do not want to go back to a past person or just past mistakes and heartache that you've had in love. This is all about transformations and, you know, shedding the old. What's influencing this is the Two of Cups in Reverse. Why is this here? What do we have? Temperance in reverse. Sign of Sagittarius. Again, partners, love in general, a particular person, whatever it is, breakups, not seeing eye to eye with this person or love in general. And it's just you're not you're no longer willing to compromise 
Temperance in Reverse, you might be lacking patience, but I think it's just a lack of willing to kind of just compromise and cooperate with people who aren't on the same level. They're not seeing eye to eye as you are, right? On your mind is the Knight of Coins, Virgo, Taurus energy. Yeah, and the Ten of Pentacles. Very slow moving energy on your mind. You're slowly moving towards long term. You're not going to mess around with anybody who is not giving you something that you can build. Something very stable long term. Build that legacy with. A lot of you are very focused on money. Money and career look really good as well. You're, this is a reading of Aries isn't playing. Right? It's, it's the long term. It's the long game or nothing. Because in the past, you have an Eight of Swords. What's this about? And the Ace of Pentacles. Again, feeling restricted in some way when it comes to love or person. And so again, with that Ace of Pentacles, this is about Aries taking a hard look at their lives and putting value towards it. Planting that seed and growing on it. And your energy for a fire sign is super, super slow and cautious. And in the recent past, you just you were tired of feeling stuck feeling in stalemate situations, feeling tied and bound. Um, a lot of you, again, threw yourself into something new, right, within work, something that could you could build upon and grow. It's all happening because of the Four of Cups. I think this is just complacency, right? And the Queen of Wands. There you are, Aries, showing up, saying hi to mom. What's up? This is you rejecting energy that's immature, that isn't in the long game, that isn't building with you for the future, it's almost like the energy of Aries. And again, some of you, this is a particular person you're saying this to or just love in general. If you're not serious, just move it. Keep it Keep it going. Keep it going. I'll call the water Uber for you. I'm not interested. Because you guys feel confident. You're in the upright. Male or female, it doesn't matter. It's energy. Aries is super confident, super attractive to others. You know, ready to take action, not going to sit around and, you know, wait. And it's because of the Four of Cups. I think that this is more kind of just complacency and boredom when it comes to love and rejecting people too. And the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Who's this King of Pentacles? Typically Taurus energy. Yeah, look at that, the Knight of Pentacles. I think a lot of you are just throwing yourself into work. I'm telling y'all, if you are a business owner... You currently have a job or you're thinking about starting something new. You're looking for a bonus or a payout or something like that. It's definitely coming. And it's kind of because love is taking a back seat. Anybody that does try to come in to Aries in the next, call it six weeks, a little less, you know, is, again, they better have their game on full, full, like long term. Aries, this is not a month of Aries looking to just play around. All right. Very slow, very careful and cautious. Coming into the near future, you will experience this Page of Cups in reverse. Why is that? Because of the Nine of Wands in reverse. Yeah, kind of saying, screw it. I'm tired of dealing with immature people who just can't offer their emotion, right? I'm not really giving it. I'm emotionally just unavailable, pretty much. And it's because of the Nine of Wands in reverse. Just saying, screw it. I'm too tired to deal, right? That's what you're going to experience coming in the near future. Because you're going through big transformations and endings right now. You're kind of going through an awakening. This is rising, rising above it all. Why is death here for Aries? What do we have? Because of the hermit in reverse. Yeah, coming back to the land of the living. Why is the hermit in reverse sign of Virgo? Hermit in reverse, depending on what it's clarifying surrounding cards, doesn't just mean somebody's coming back around. Hermit in reverse is I've gone within. I've kind of secluded myself. I feel confident now. I'm getting back out there. But if you're coming to me with any type of, um, you know, a text that reads WYD, I'm really not interested. I'm interested in building a life with someone. And until that happens, guess what? I'm focusing on that money and my career is what it looks like. Now, in your environment coming in that you don't see is a Three of Swords. What's this about? Why is this Three of Swords coming in for Aries and the Two of Pentacles? Why is the two of pentacles here with this three of swords? What is this? What is this crap? The emperor, Aries energy, there you are, bossing up. See, you have somebody, an offer coming in, but you're not emotionally available to them. You don't even want to deal with it. You're kind of like, screw it. 
I'm not even going to try to persevere or push forward with this. It could be a water sign, but it's somebody that's just immature. They're younger than you. And you know there's separation with this person on the horizon. Like, you just, you're not even, you know, why? Because two of pentacles, they're wishy-washy or they're juggling or, you know, whatever. And Aries, you guys have a lot going on. You're trying to juggle a lot as well. So this is you guys, Emperor. What does the Emperor do? The Emperor bosses up. The emperor puts his foot down and says, I require order and stability. This is how it's going to be, right? And you're just not having this. Who's this page of cups in reverse coming into the near future? What is it? Yeah, the eight of wands in reverse. You're not even going to give this person like the time of day. Somebody's going to reach out to you. Could be online or just in general, text, email, whatever it is, and you're just, I'm not even emotionally available, and you like block this person or you don't return their message, something like that. And I think it's going to kind of shock them too with that three of swords. They're kind of like, what? What's up with Aries? So definitely somebody coming in, but your, your energy is so high right now, vibration, vibrating on that really high level, you're not even going to give it a second look because in your emotions, you're the high priestess. Well, the high priestess is super intuitive, but the high priestess is also very closed off, very secretive, very silent. Why is this high priestess here in Aries emotions? What is this? Because of the two of wands. Not really sure what direction you want to take. So you're just kind of closing yourself off to people right now, or at least throughout the month of February. And it's because of the two of wands. So the two of wands, there's your Aries energy. What just fell out? The devil. Capricorn. <laughs> So in your emotions, just secretive, closed off, not revealing your cards, right? Being very mysterious. And it's because you're, you're making plans. The two of wands is I'm setting out on a new path. And I'm not necessarily going to reveal to people in my love life or outside of my love life what my plans are. Because maybe I'm not even really sure yet, right? And it's because of the devil. What are we doing with the devil here? What is it? The empress in reverse. You're not feeding it is what is going on here. The devil, Capricorn, the empress, you've got Libra Taurus energy there. What's the devil? Well, the devil is very restrictive energy. It's temptations. It's anything that's toxic, that keeps you tied and bound. It's not healthy, right? Yeah, it can be addictions and that kind of stuff. But what are we doing? Well, we're not feeding it with the empress in reverse. You're not moving forward with something here. You will know like that, that this offer is just not what you want and you're not going to feed it not only are you not going to feed this offer but because you've do done so much soul searching you're not feeding anybody that's leaving you like meh four of cups you're not doing it the outcome also has the two of wands aries energy what's this about seven of cups a lot of options this as well as other things that have happened previous to this energy, Aries, is going to leave you kind of setting out on a path and a little bit confused, right? What, what do I want? This is a month of Aries soul searching. And I think that you're going to leave people kind of wondering what's going on with Aries. They're going to be a little bit kind of shocked at your energy and your response when they do try to come at you. And the two of wands with that outcome with that seven of cups says you got a lot going on, right? And it leaves you a little bit at a crossroads, you know? What's the seven of cups? The chariot. Busy, busy times. I think you're going to be very busy with your money. You're going to be very busy with friends and family and, you know, that kind of thing. And with that chariot, things can be a little bit out of control. There's a lot with the seven of cups and the chariot. As far as love goes, though, you're just going to keep it moving very, very quickly. You're not going to waste any time on any energy that isn't bringing you growth, is what this looks like. And what a way to end your reading. There you are, the fool. Okay, sign of Aries, major arcana for Aries. This is somebody that doesn't want to be tied down. They want to be free, right? They want to explore. They want to travel physically, metaphorically, whatever. This is starting again because you see yourself as death. Well, what happens after death? We rise above, right? We rise from those ashes and we begin again with the fool, zero major arcana. So this is being light and free, taking risks in other areas. This is all about timing. Whomever this person is that's coming in, Aries is like, no thanks. I'm good. I'm the emperor. I'm bossing up. Maybe you're a boss in your own business at your work or something like that. But more than anything, this is you setting boundaries. And this is about Aries is what this reading is about. 
So that's what I got. We're gonna see who this immature person or offer is coming in. I wanna find out what's going on in their life. Let's see who it is. Is it somebody from the past? Is it somebody new? Uh, there's some heartbreak though with this. I think it's gonna be more on their surprise and it's more about separation from that energy. So let's see what they're thinking and feeling for you, Aries. I will check you out over on the extended reading. I'm loving you hard, love me hard back, and we'll speak soon. Take care.